So hello, welcome back to the uh, never-ending M52 B28 engine rebuild and today I want to talk about what I'm doing with the cylinder head. Now progress has been really slow. I have all the engine parts disassembled, the block, pistons, rods, everything. Since I wanted to clean up the cylinder head a little bit with the uh, ports while it's off, I decided to do a DIY porting and polish job on this head by mild i mean i'm really just gonna clean up any rough edges that's about it i'm not gonna go too wild because i've never done this before this is my first time and i don't want to destroy this head just smoothing the edges and then polishing it i started already with two exhaust ports as you can see here compared to this is the original with the basic tools that i have i have this Dremel with an extension that I'm using. I have various sanding discs for the Dremel pieces and bits. Now I try different things. The first step, what I'm using is this uh, brass brush, small one, just to clean up uh, the part, get rid of some of the remaining carbon deposits. And what worked for me, what I found out to be working okay, where I can control it, is I use these small carbide bits I bought to do a rough in and smoothing of any sharp edges not too wild just a once over on the parts like this edge you cannot see it down down here it's a pronounced edge you can see here or maybe not in there this I try to grind out and smooth it out also enlarge or not enlarge Pretty much give this whole port or the bowel. I start with the bowels, I want, uh, do over with the carbide bit to remove any edges. Also, after I'm done with the bolts, I go back and do the uh, ports. As you can see here, this one is already done. So the whole port and bowel is then roughed up or the edges are taken off, sharp edges. After that, I go in with this style sanding flapper thingy and this or this one i have a whole assortment here of different ones or this one so first step clean it then go in with the carbide bit these are really small so i can control it very easily not to take off too much then go in with the sanding flapper discs and in the end for the third, third step to polish it out make it smooth is with these round polishing you know, discs, what do you call them? I don't know. They come in certain varieties, different grits, to get this type of smooth or smoother finish in there. And that's about it, what I'm doing. And I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm not gonna go any further doing any more porting or taking lots of material off. The goal is just to smooth the edges, make it a little bit larger, but that's about it. Will this do anything? I don't know. In the end, it'll be cleaned up and smoothed, okay? It takes me about one hour per, let's say, port. So this is definitely something that takes a lot of time and you need to take your time, not rush it. Otherwise, well, you can break through or if you take too much off, I don't know. So bowl, then the port. It, what I'm gonna do with the actual combustion chamber, I don't know if I'm gonna do anything. Maybe get rid of this small lip here. Just smooth it out, that's about it. Yeah, so that's what I'm doing basically. Starting with the exhaust ports, I have two done, and now I'm just gonna do another one, which takes like one hour, so very small steps, slow progress. Will it be worth it in the end? Well, we'll, we'll see when everything is assembled and how it runs, right? No way to tell yet. Take your time. Don't, you know, be tempted to take off too much material, because I think these heads are already in stock form, pretty good, flow pretty good, so it's just a matter of smoothing and polishing it. At least the exhaust ports, polishing. I don't know if I'm going to do the intake ports. People say that polishing intake ports is not a good idea due to that the atomization of the fuel will not be good if it's not if it's too smooth. That's why the intake ports should remain a little bit rough compared to the exhaust port ports, which you can polish smooth. So yeah, but this is all stuff 
or info that I've been gathering from YouTube videos, reading online, cylinder head porting. So just doing it on my own and trying out what works. So you can see here, I have to film it now in this vertical format, otherwise, yeah, whatever, it's, it doesn't matter. So I rough, that's what I'm doing with the carbide bit, basically roughening up, taking off some material just to get a smooth, even surface, taking all the debris, all the carbon out with this uh, sharp edge that it's here and yeah, go to town. I mean, just take your time and be careful not to mess up the, uh, the guide or the valve seat, you don't want to be hitting that, otherwise it'll damage the valve seat, so just slowly and going in there, grinding away basically. <laughs> So you can see this is a very tedious process. Also I'm trying to focus on later the, the short radius of the port because that's where the airflow will basically anyway go to due to flow dynamics around the shorter radius not the longer radius. You can see here just taking off little by little. Maybe the bit I have is too small, not sure there's bigger ones but at least this way I have it better under control. I will not accidentally hit anything. Yeah, it'll just take longer. So, but this is basically all I'm gonna do. Just smooth it out, take some material off, cleaning out the parts, and that's it. So I finished doing the roughing in with the carbide bit, got it all even or all spots, tried to get any edges I could see. And once it's uniform like this compared to this, so I got, I know I got all the surfaces inside. I'm going to stop here. I'm a little bit concerned about not doing it evenly across each port. So once I got a uniform, um, what do you call it? surface picture so to speak where i know i got all the areas and took off some material this is basically where i'm going to end it and then go in with the next step which would be the sanding bit flapper wheel where i can just smooth out any rough surface from the carbide bit just smoothing it out and hopefully this will not do any harm or the unevenness will not be too great across the parts i'm just doing it by feel Okay, I mean, from stock, they do have casting imperfections, but I want to avoid taking off too much material on one part than the other. 
So it's a little bit tricky how far you want to go. And like I said, just to smooth it in, get the surface all roughed up when it's even, and then go in with the next step to smooth it out. So basically, I finished sanding it with this sanding disc wheel. And yeah, where do you start? Where do you stop? I think I now uniformly got every piece where I used the carbide bit and now smoothed it up more to go the next step, which is the final one. And just use these flapper thingies, different grids to get a smooth, smoother finish. And I do have a kind of gasket matching mark I made here with the exhaust gasket but I'm not going to go that far and then I just basically check with this to see if I took off too much or if it's even somewhat across the ports that's all I can do it's all manual it's not going to be 100% perfect but close enough I hope I don't know but yeah you just have to know when to stop I guess I mean you can just continue on grinding 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 I don't know so it's really up to your feel of what you think you got everything you know the the things are smoothed out that you wanted to smooth out and then just go over it with the final surface finish and leave it as it is and you can also see here the, the bell the dust in there see so i'm just gonna clean it up now to a final finish and then move on so I'm saying one part, if you do it, takes at least minimum one hour, at least for me, if not more, longer. So this is quite time extensive or time consuming job, I can say, and you have to be careful not to overdo it. Okay, I'm gonna end it here. So I basically finished it off with one of these, like, I don't know, 120 or 240 grit, something like this. So it feels smooth to the touch at least. And I'm gonna leave it at that because I just don't want to go any further or do more. Here's the original part. You can see the cleaned up one here inside. So I have three of them finished. Here you can see the bowels also. I'm not gonna go any further. I mean, it's smooth. Okay, the camera picks up some roughness, but it's some imperfections in the casting, which I'm not gonna grind down all the way. It's just gonna be too much. So I'm basically gonna leave it at that with what I did and move on to the next three. So these three are done. And the way I'm kind of measuring at least with the port is here that I'm not overshooting opening these ports so it's basically i don't know after measuring like maybe 0 0.5 one millimeter like one mil max i took off inside and this is going to be enough for me this is really time consuming and someone wants to do this i'm done now after doing one port i went back to these and just smoothed them up but one day one port okay maybe two then you're spending like two to three hours because you have to get inside the bowels as well yeah and you have to stay concentrated and focused. 
Okay, that's it for now. I'm just gonna continue porting away whenever I feel like it. And you can probably see it's gonna take like, I don't know, days.